Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Baron Easy coming back to you guys today with a tutorial on Camtasia Studio 8. And now if you guys didn't know, Camtasia Studio 8 is basically a desktop recording software, but it also allows you to use your webcam at the same time, which is very useful. I use this program pretty much does a lot of my videos for currently for YouTube. It is an amazing program. However, I was having video audio sync issues and since about two months ago, and lately I've actually been asked quite a few times how to how to, how can I fix audio Video, video sync problems in Camtasia Studio 8. So today I'm going to give you guys some tips that uh, basically fixed my problems and any problems I was having in Camtasia Studio 8. And basically guys, overall I think part 2 is the most important part. Part 1 I'm just going to show you since my webcam's on, I can actually show you part 1. And that's going to be make sure your hard drives are optimized, okay, for Camtasia Studio 8. So I want you to go to Start Menu and if we go to control panel, so click start menu, click control panel. And now if your view is different to mine, so it look, doesn't look like mine, I want you to click up view by and small icons. That'll be easy to see everything. And then I want you to click on device manager. So this one here, click on that. And right here, disk drives, okay? So we go down to disk drives. First things first, whatever hard drive you are using to record on, I want you to right click on that hard drive and click properties. So for me, it's my Western Digital Blacks. I actually use two of them in RAID 0, so basically that means two of them are working together. And basically I want you to go here and check, make sure both these boxes are checked, okay? So I'll do that again for you. Right click on the hard drive, click Properties, go to Policies tab up the top, and make sure both these boxes are checked, okay? Enable write caching on the device and turn off Windows write caching buffer flushing on the device. Make sure both these are checked for the hard drives you are using. And that is the first step. Now, the second step here is to go to IDE ATA Atapi controllers and make sure that this is up to date or more specifically, it's the driver that is prescribed by your motherboard manufacturer. Okay, so for me, I, I have an ASRock Z77 motherboard. And now we want you to right click properties, go to driver. And now for mine, as you can see here, it's 2012. It's the most recent driver released, okay, from Intel. So it's the Intel 7 Series C261 chipset family. SATA HACI controller. Now, basically, this is the latest driver. If I didn't have this driver, it'd be like a 2009 Windows driver or something like that. So if you have a 2009 driver on there, you may wish to, uh, you know, just update your driver. Have a check. If you can't find the driver there, you can go on to Google and search your motherboard and chipset driver and update it through that way. This will basically optimize, it'll optimize the controller for your hard disk so you'll be getting the best speeds possible when you're recording and that may help things, okay? So that's part one of the tutorial. Let's move on to part two and I'll actually have to turn off my webcam for this part. Okay guys, we're coming back now with part two of the tutorial and this is the most important part, okay? So I actually found the problem, the problem for me was the web camera itself, okay? It wasn't Camtasia Studio 8's fault. My web camera is a C270, and basically, I'm going to show you now, guys, so I want you to open up Skype, okay? So since I can't get there via my Camtasia menu, because I'm currently recording with it, I'm going to show you another way, okay? So if, basically, go to Skype, you can go to Tools, Options, and it'll bring up a menu here and I want you to go down to video settings and now I can see myself hey woo now I want you to go to web camera settings okay so it'll show you like it'll bring up your webcam you go to web camera settings and now what I found was it was actually two problems that was occurring okay so basically the first problem was the auto settings okay so I want you to take off all these uncheck all these boxes here okay uncheck right light uncheck auto auto you can leave on anti-flicker as it's a constant thing, okay? So anything constant is okay. Basically what happens with the web camera control is these auto settings, they'll change and then they'll send, like they'll interrupt because Camtasia basically captures the device. It holds on to your microphone. It holds on to your webcam and you can't, if anything interacts with that, it'll cause problems. And that's what exactly is happening, I believe, for a lot of people. It was happening for me. Once I turned off these auto settings, I never had these big video sync problems again. However, I will go on to part two now. I mean, sorry, I will go on to step two. And that is, so after you've done this and saved it, and basically after I did that, I never had, my first video I always recorded was basically giving me, always it would just continually be fine. 
the second video or the third video would have these micro stutters. And now basically guys, if you're getting micro stutters, all that simply is is your webcam is overheating, okay? Yes, that's right, your webcam is overheating. So I don't know if you guys have ever talked on Skype before and you've seen your webcam sort of flicker. That's just simply your webcam overheating and getting it needs to cool down. And basically, yeah, if you want to get really good videos, you have to obviously buy an expensive web camera. I will be buying a new one soon as this is like a $20 webcam, even though the quality is very good for the money. This is a very good webcam for the money. However, it's not the best. Obviously, they're going to use cheap hardware in a $20 mic uh, cam. So basically, yeah, it's either turn off these auto settings. And then after that, I want you guys to... And if you're still having the problem, say the first video is fine, the first 10 minute video is absolutely fine, the second and the third video start to have these little micro stutters, basically that's just your webcam overheating. And so the only way to fix that is to buy a good web camera, okay? And so guys, I hope this has helped you if you're having frustrating video audio sync problems. And if you haven't guys, please give this video a like and subscribe to help me out. And if you have any questions about Camtasia Studio 8, please leave a comment in the comment section below or send me a personal message if it's urgent and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope this has helped you guys out. And yes, Camtasia Studio is a fantastic program. It is is amazing, okay? And basically, that's the problems I, were having, I was having. So I'm having absolutely no more problems with Camtasia Studio 8 now. I've figured out all my problems and the program is working absolutely fine for me. It's an amazing program. So I hope you guys... Yeah, you know, this is a very little tedious problem, but it's basically the web camera's fault. So... Anyway, peace out for now. Brian Easy, bye.